Hi, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. I'm using CS5 Extended and I'm going to show you two ways of creating a spinning earth. Now, the first way is going to be the most difficult and it's going to be kind of a fake 3D way and the second way is going to be real 3D and a lot simpler. Um, so I'm going to animate both of them. So we'll get started on the hard way first. As you can see, I've got this document open and it's this earth map and I'll upload this to um, our website photoshopbus.co.uk uh, so you can use as you please. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alt double click on the padlock in the layers panel to unlock it I'm going to right click and convert to smart object then I'm going to open up that uh, smart object so I've got this PSB layer which is the layer that resides within the smart object. I'm going to go to image canvas size making sure that relative ain't checked. I'm going to do half the size it already is, so that's 320 tab tab by 240. Hit enter and proceed and <coughs> from that I'm now going to go back to my working document, get the move tool, grab the map, lift it up to the PSB layer, shift drop it dead center onto our um, PSB layer then I'm going to right click on it and rasterize it because it came in as a smart object remember I turned it into a smart object and the layer 0, that first layer, I'm going to throw in the bin now I'm going to press Control T I'm going to hold down Alt and grab this top control um, here and the reason I'm going to hold down Alt is so that it scales in to the center symmetrically like so and it will snap when it hits the edges and I'm just going to do the same, stretch it out just a little bit and shift so it stays constrained within the document I'm going to get it to the edge like that now let's bring up our animation planet palette rather and we are on the timeline so that's good I'm going to set a keyframe for position I'm going to move to about three seconds and bring the work area down and then holding down shift I'm going to come to the other end and on the flyer I'll just do trim document to work area hit spacebar you can see we've got this simple animation which is great now I'm going to close it and save it as a must and it will come back into this document now what's happened is we resized the PSB document which is the document that was inside this smart object um, so now when we come back to it the map is the size that we resize to but we've still got the outer bounds of the original size of the original map so what we need to do is do a trim image trim all the transparent pixels top bottom left right click OK and there we have that now again let's bring our work area down or we can go to um, document settings and we can set this to three seconds and we've got our animation so we need to come to filter now usually I would use smart filters for this but um, it's not really needed for the sake of this tutorial and I'm going to come to distort spherize 100% normal mode click OK I'm going to get the ellipse tool start in the middle hold down shift and alt so it constraints out from the center evenly and using the space bar as well get it in the center of the document let go of the mouse button let go of everything else and hit the layer mask button and there you can see we've got a fake spinning globe now of course there's no real lighting effects or, or anything like that on it because it's not a real 3D object but we can put a little background behind it let's create a new document uh, 500 by 500 is fine let's do a shift F5 fill it with 50% grey at a normal blend mode and 100% opacity let's do a filter again I'd use smart filters normally but not for this tutorial add noise about 35% uniform monochromatic and next we'll add some blur you must blur this a little bit otherwise the levels won't work I'd normally use an adjustment level adjustment layer levels but I'm just going to do control L and then bringing in the controls left and right we can get it so we've just got a few specks of white making it look like 
a crap star field. So get back to that move tool and grab the earth, drag it up onto our other document, shift drop it into that document, probably control T, don't want to see that again, that's just warning us that we are basically well you can read it there. Smart fields apply to layers constrained in this group will be turned off temporarily while the transform is being previewed. They will appear applied other commit blah, 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 and turn it off. Just turn it a little bit. And there we go. Do that again. You can see that we now have a spinning earth. It's okay. It's not brilliant. Actually disappeared there. And that's probably got something to do with the computer. And to that you could add a star field, we could go to image um, canvas size, we could double up this again, so 640 by 480, and then control click on a new layer, shift F5 to fill it with 50% grey, um, I'll just do that a bit slower, shift F5 brings up your fill box and I've chosen 50% grey at normal blend mode, 100% opacity. I'm going to do filter, normally I'd use smart filters and adjustment layers to create this but I'm going to do a real quick, quick well a real quick one uh, filter noise 35% blur, blur more you have to give it a little bit of blur for the levels to work control L bring in the controls left to right just to get a few specs and fake some stars ok um, if you wanted to you could tilt this earth so it rotated on the axis a little bit control T if you get a warning just say OK rotate it a little bit and there you have a spinning earth now let me show you the easy way uh, close that don't save create a new document file new that's wrong let's bring back up that earth map and come to 3D new shape and we want a sphere there we go. Let's again create that background. So we'll go to shift F, shift F5, 50% grey. Filter noise, add noise. OK. Filter blur, not box blur. I want filter blur, blur more. And then control L. That will do. And then to this earth I want to animate it so I'm going to the 3D layers called background so I'll come up to the background I don't want to set the position I want to set the 3D object position if I set the position that refers to the position of this object it doesn't refer to the position of a 3D object in its 3D space and that's what I want to change so I'm going to do 3G, 3D object position come to 3 seconds roughly bring the work area down again and then while I'm there I'm gonna you can hit K or just go onto the 3D object rotate tool and um, I think it's Z yep we're just going to come to the end so three seconds and set this to 360 which is one complete turn and then hit, if we hit play spacebar the play button you can see it's turning there you go so there's two ways of creating a 3D spinning earth one, one ain't really 3D and it's the hard way so I suggest you get CS4, CS5 or CS6 which enables you to make that um, spherical shape out of a um, image document and um, do it the easy way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.